Following on from the big revelation, last episode, Torchwood continues the series by sidelining Gwen Cooper, having her take the day off by attending a funeral and shifting the focus to Jack, Tyler, and new character Orr as they try to stop a Corvex bond from leveling the entire city. I'm just gonna come right out and say it. The Corvex are really poor villains. They have no death and they are just so petty, so selfish that it's hard to see anything from their point of view. They have no sympathetic character traits and just come off as generic aliens that want to take over the world. I never thought I'd say this, but I want the committee back. On the flip side, by taking her out of the action, Gwen is given a lot of character material to work with. Eve Miles and Rise Williams... Eve Miles and Reese Williams have a few touching moments together that do make you feel for them, and more so for Gwen given the unique circumstances she finds herself in. I love the character of Orr. A bizarre idea, but oh so Torchwood. Orr is an involuntary shapeshifter who randomly takes on the appearance of a person's greatest object of lust whenever she is with someone. Ignoring the fact that we finally have a proper alien as part of the main cast, Orr's backstory is explored wonderfully, including her motivations, ties into the convex and given that Jack is absolutely fascinated by her abilities, the script gives the two of them some wonderfully touching moments as well. The script still takes its PC liberties at any cast member with even the slightest prejudice against aliens, this time Tyler Steele, ignoring the fact that these prejudices may not always be bad. A shape-shifting alien living in a city already invaded by hostile aliens who want to kill humans. Yeah, Tyler Steele's xenophobia is completely unjustified here. 